Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, just put, wanted to put together this quick video to show you a little bit about this new knife sharpener that I got. I wanted something that was a little easier to sharpen my knives when I'm out in the garage taking care of uh, chickens or whatever animal I happen to be uh, butchering. And so I found this thing online and there wasn't a lot of information about it, but I thought I would give it a try because it seemed like it was pretty simple and uh, it has guides and things that are supposed to make it so you get a consistent edge. And since I'm not one of those people who is any good at using something like a steel rod, a steel sharpener, I wanted something that was a little bit easier for somebody like me to use. So. This is what I found, and I'm going to just talk real quick about what I like about it, uh, what's in the box, I'll use it, and then I will tell you whether or not I think you should buy it. So as you can see, it came with a little brochure. It shows you some of their other products, which is helpful. It makes me wonder if I should have bought something else that they have, but this is uh, interesting. It's just advertising. So we'll just throw that aside. Now the the sharpener comes in a plastic box. This is actually pretty decent uh, considering it has handles and everything. So if I was to throw it in the back of the truck or something, I know that it's going to store well. So inside here we have more literature. Thank you, the warranty, uh, instructions, super simple instructions. There's not a whole lot to this. And then we have the device itself. So this is the device. It's uh, about six inches tall, probably eight inches wide. Um, this is, the, the device is actually made of plastic which honestly I was a little disappointed about. I didn't know, I thought it looked in the pictures like it was made of steel, but, or cast iron at least, but it's actually not. It's, this is all plastic. The only metal on it are the uh, sharpening sticks. And then you know, there's a few screws here and there and some springs. Uh, but the way that this works is you put your blade along this guide here. And as you put your blade through it, these, two, as you can see, I've used it. These two uh, sliders come out and they're supposed to keep a consistent uh, point of contact on your blade. And then of course, whatever angle you have these sticks at or what the sharpening is gonna be at. You have two sides on these sticks, these sharpening sticks. They, one, they pop right out which again, this being plastic, I get a little nervous about how long this is gonna last, uh, but it is fairly, it's, it's pliable, but it does feel thick enough where it's not gonna break, at least today, I hope. Um, so it's not too bad. These things are what does your sharpening. So one side you have a smooth steel, and then on this side, you have a, I think it's a 350 grit sharpening surface. So obviously you start with the coarse side first, and then once you get your blade fairly honed in, then you flip it over and you just touch it up with the steel. Now, I will say I've used this thing already. I wanted to use it a couple times, make sure I understood how it worked before I came in uh, made a recommendation to people whether or not I think it was worth the money. Um, now, the first thing I did was I removed this because it was on the largest setting, which I believe is 30. So the, there's these little knobs in here that this slides into. And when I got it, it was on 30. So immediately I moved it down to 17. So what, what that looks like is I went down here and I slid it into the 17. I popped this in just like that. It's not too hard. And then I noticed this thing was sticking. It wasn't 
coming back in like it was like it's supposed to. It was actually kind of stuck. So that's a problem because when I'm putting the blade through, it was going out and then sitting out here. So I can't just keep on going through. So I was a little disappointed about how that came out, but I did actually figure out a pretty easy fix. So what I did was I took a razor blade. I don't know how well you can see this, but on the very end of it, I just shaved a little bit off with the razor blade. And that was just enough to make the clearance so that this rod was not pushing up up here because that's what was actually kind of this piece of plastic here is a little bit um, less rigid than other pieces. So it was pushing up and then it was not sliding. So it was a really easy fix. I didn't feel like I was compromising the integrity of the uh, sharpener by shaving this off. Also, these are replaceable, so you can buy more or you can buy replacements. So even if I took too much off and it wouldn't hold in here anymore, I could just buy a replacement. So it wasn't a big deal, but it is worth noting that that can happen and it, it happened to me. Now, the other thing is you've got your guide here, which you can adjust uh, the angle of this just by loosening this knob up and then you can go left or right. I just kind of left it where it was because it was fine. And then um, you have two sharpening blades. So you want to make sure that when you're getting ready to sharpen that you uh, have them both on the same setting. I found that the easiest way to take these out is actually to twist them a little bit and then they just pop out rather than trying to pull them straight out of this little slot that they're sitting in. Now the nice thing about this is that you have, it's got a nice base. It doesn't really feel like it's going to fall over. Um, you also have a handle. You're supposed to hold this while you're running your blade through. The finger hold it is out of the way, so it's less likely that you'll stab yourself or uh, slip because your hand is up here. If you slip and you go one direction or the other, you're just going to hit the mat. You're not going to you know, get your finger. So I think that's good from a safety perspective. As far as cutting goes, I have just a little, well, it's quite a large um, pocket knife. Uh, it's a Camillus. It's a decent quality. It's a type of knife that I like because it's heavy and I feel like I can get a good grip on it. But unfortunately, they don't make these anymore. Uh, the Camillus factory from uh, Camillus, New York, they kind of sold out and moved most of their operations to China. And when that happens, the quality of the product goes down. But these are original from the uh, factory that was in Camillus, New York. So I have a few of these and I really love them. They just feel like a good knife. So anyway, that's my little plug for a company that doesn't even really exist anymore. But anyway, so the way that this works is obviously you, I have these set on 17 degrees. You put your knife blade inside there, and of course the point of contact is dependent on uh, your knife. As you can see, this is a pretty big blade, but I, even with the holder, the holder here, the hand piece, I'm able to get it all the way in there, and I'm not missing any part of this blade. So the way that you do this is you just put it in, you go down, and then as you take the blade out, it resets this up so you just run it along this guide and you just keep going until the blade is sharp now this blade is not all that sharp so I'm just gonna go through a couple times so that was about 20 and it you can tell that it did pull off a little bit of the uh, steel that was on there. It does feel slightly sharper. I would probably put this through another 20 times before I called it sharp. But the nice thing about this is that this is something, I find this when I'm um, doing any butchering in the garage or out in the yard or whatever it is, having a sharpener that's easy that I don't have to, um, I don't want to get my dirty knife all over a my nice clean sharpening stone or anything like that 
Um, I don't want animal parts on the sharpening stone. But this I like because you can just quickly go through 10 or 15 times and you can have it set off on a table somewhere and you can just do a little bit of fine tuning and you don't have to get all into um, using oils and things like that, honing oil or anything like this. Just seems to me that this product is really good for just touching up your blade when you're in a pinch. All right, so here's some things that I like about this product. Like I said before, I like the fact that it is uh, easy. I, it, once I have my blade angle set, assuming that I like to use 17 for most of my blades, it's set, I can just use it, I can put pop my knife in there, whatever knife it is, and I'm good to go. It doesn't take a lot of time to set up, I literally just open up the box and it's ready to go. Another thing that I like is that it does come with a box. I like that because I can just throw it in the back of the truck and I don't have to worry about protecting the product. I don't have to worry about this stones cracking or anything like that. It's a, it's a plastic container. Uh, it clips pretty good. It has a handle on it. I can even throw it in my bin that has all of my butchering equipment and it's handy and it stores away nicely. I also like that it's fairly easy to adjust these two uh, rods here, these two sticks. Um, if I just want to flip them over, I put the the other steel version, the steel one on there, and it takes like five seconds. I don't have to do a lot of adjustments as long as I have this fairly straight up and down, nice and square. Uh, I should be good, and I can just do what I need to do, and I don't have to really clean it up or anything. I can I wipe off these sticks once in a while just to get some of the um, residue off of them, the little st steel shards or whatever. Uh, there are adjustments for this. Uh, this is for pull, increasing the tension on the springs that are in here. I haven't found that they really do all that much. If you loosen them up, they do uh, loosen up the tension on the spring. And I suspect the reason this exists is that over time, that string, that spring will stretch out and you'll want to just pull the tension on it a little bit just to kind of get, get it back to its original pull strength. Now, some of the things that I dislike about this product are, uh, number one, I, I, as I said before, I thought that this thing was made of cast iron. So I was thinking that it would be, I could drop it, I could kick it around and it would last forever. The fact that it's made of plastic is a little bit of a concern as far as it breaking or even with plastic, even if some little piece breaks, particularly these little knobs that hold in these steel sticks, if one of those breaks off, I, what do you do? The, the whole piece of equipment is no good. And as far as I know, it's possible that you could call the company and say, hey, this, this uh, steel stick holder broke, can you, send me another one, and maybe they'll be willing to do that. I, I don't know. I haven't done any research to find out what their customer support is like. Um, another thing that I don't necessarily care for is that this is not exactly a precision sharpening tool. It will give you a 17 degree angle, and it will give you a 20, a 25, and a 30. If you're looking to get a different angle than that, there, there's no other option. So you can choose of those four. I think that if you adjust this a little bit, you might be able to make some fine tuning, but even so, it's not exactly designed to change your angle because if you are, you're, you wanna be square here so that both of these steel sticks are hitting the blade at the same angle on both sides. So you might be able to adjust it a little bit and it might change your angle a little bit, but then you're comp you're giving up, you're sacrificing one side for the other. Um, I don't necessarily think that that would be a great option. So you realistically, you're stuck with these four angles. They're popular angles, but if you're looking for, um, I know some knives, they have like a 15 
or they have a 21. So if that's what you have, then this is not gonna really work for you. Finally, who should buy this sharpener? I would say that it was a good investment for me because it's easy to just throw in the back of the truck and it's easy to just bring outside. I don't necessarily care if this thing gets wet. Uh, if it's raining out and I'm doing uh, some butchering, it's no big deal. It's plastic. It's not going to rust. And it does do a good job at just buffing a knife real quick. It's not a precision sharpener, uh, even though I, I think that the company that makes it would make that argument. But... I think that it is a good sharpener and it's great for um, a mobile setup. This is not something that I would set up on my workbench and use to sharpen all of my knives around the house necessarily um, because I think that there's better options for getting that real nice um, honed in sharp edge for, for other types of knives like your kitchen knives and things like that. But again, for just sharpening up a knife that I'm doing some butchering with, whether it be, you know, just my my hunting type knife or a uh, boning knife, which is what I primarily use when butchering, um, this thing is way better than using a, a steel rod like some people would use. Now, that's just be my opinion because there are people who can use a steel rod to... Um, to fix that that fine edge on the side on the knife blade um, because what happens is as you're cutting the the fine part of the blade the sharpest part of your blade actually kind of curls over so the steel rod is used to help straighten that back out again the thing is that you have to be very good at holding that knife against the steel rod in order to get that nice consistent push and i'm not one of those people there are people who can do it and they might say well why buy this when i can just use a steel rod um that's true uh, i'm not one of those people so i would say that this is great for me uh for that very reason i don't have to think i don't have to use my brain to do to use this guide and it does sharpen it nice and it has that steel uh smooth steel side to just do that final touch and for me, it works great. So if you're looking to just use it for around the house, you're in the middle of cutting something and a, a cutting project like butchering, this thing is great for touching up and um, this this tool, not the knife. I'm sorry for holding it that way. This is great for touching up and just getting your blade uh, into a better sharpened state as you're in the process of using it. So those are the recommendations I have for you. And I hope that they're helpful. Like if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching the video. I hope it was helpful and it potentially helped you make a decision whether or not you wanted to buy this product. I have a link to this product. It's up on Amazon. So if you use the link in the description, uh, I do get a small commission, um, not from the company, but from Amazon. And uh, that helps me to be able to kind of... Um, evaluate products and, and see what's good and what's not and then make videos like this um, so i encourage you to please help support me uh, by clicking that link and i hope that this video was helpful and if you find that my videos are interesting then then i recommend that you subscribe and this is uh, the type of stuff that i put out i i put out some reviews but i also put out quite a few videos about what I'm doing around the farm and um, I've got some things coming up that I'm looking forward to making videos about so I encourage you again to subscribe and I thank you and have a great day.